PD uh, start of the second meeting this morning. Uh, this is the session on statistics, economy and this is the session on economy, uh, statistics, economy and the rural. Uh, we have three speakers. Uh, they'll speak uh, and make their presentation and then we'll have discussion afterwards. They're speaking each for 20 minutes. Um, Kamal Mahdi, uh, who is in the middle of the triumvirate, uh, is an economist. Uh, he taught for many years uh, at the University of Exeter, was at one stage the director of Gulf Studies there, and he's also been a senior uh, visiting fellow at the London School of Economics Middle East Centre. Uh, Yasusika Yamamoto is uh, currently at ESQA here in Beirut, the UN's uh, Economic Commission in Southwest Asia. Uh, he's one of the authors of the um, Survey of Economic and Social Developments in the Arab World. He's been at ESQA since uh, 2002. And uh, my immediate right is uh, Max Agil, who is a student, doctoral student from Cornell, uh, working in uh, development sociology, researching post-colonial agricultural development and price engineering in Tunisia. He's also the editor of the Palestine, Palestine page in Jadalia and a member of the uh, relatively newly formed political economy project uh, on the Middle East. So I welcome them all, as well as you all, to this session. And I invite, uh, first of all, Kamal to begin. Thank you, Ray. Uh, thank you very much, Ray. Um, what I, I'm not, what I'm talking about is not, as in the title, the sort of the production of uh, uh, statistics, but uh, uh, really what statistics, uh, published statistics existing uh, at present, uh, and uh, the research that's available sort of uh, to, to, to uh, wider public. Tell us uh, about the general state of Iraq's agriculture. Uh, I'll say something about it, about the, how we got there, uh, uh, but uh, that's what, but we'll start with, with uh, what it tells us about the general state. Uh, um, then I'll move on to what is not being told by uh, the uh, uh, statistics, uh, sort of the story that's left uh, out, uh, what's glaringly missing, you know, you're talking about uh, 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 agriculture and you sort of miss out uh, the uh, uh, central uh, and essential part of it. And then I'll say a little bit more about why this gap uh, exists. Um, so uh, I'll start with what, what we know from uh, the, the uh, data. Uh, we know um, uh, the data sort of heavily concentrates on, on, on giving us production figures. Uh, of uh, uh, various and a little bit of an, an acreage and so on. Uh, so what we know from that is uh, that uh, the production base is uh, narrow, agriculture, agriculture production base is narrow and has got narrower over time. Uh, so seasonal uh, crops are, are uh, sort of few. There's wheat and barley in winter uh, are predominant. Uh, historically, rice was pre the predominant uh, uh, summer uh, crop. Uh, it's being edged out quite fast uh, now. It's still uh, supported by, uh, f uh, by, by, by uh, 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 a, a, a uh, a subsidized price uh, by uh, government, so it's, it's still going on, but diminishing quite rapidly. And I think the government also wants to pull out because of serious water uh, issues now with, with the, uh, uh, the, the uh, projects in, in Turkey, especially uh, in this case. Um, so rice, then there's maize and potatoes are coming, are, are increasing not very fast, but uh, to replace rice, coming in to replace rice. Um, so uh, 
the, 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 all, the, uh, all the above plus any other uh, crops, minor uh, crops, but ma it's mainly wheat, but uh, the ab above and all other mi minor crops cover 85% of the cropped uh, area uh, in uh, Iraq. And then other than that, there's, uh, a, 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 there's uh, a few uh, other products, sesame, there's also some um, small amounts of uh, 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 food legumes uh, and so on. Uh, it only amounts to about 2% of, of uh, the uh, total land, uh, uh, of the cropped uh, land. Uh, so what we have here is, is a very small base for any kind of crop rotation. Uh, in there, uh, so that's one feature of the annual, of the seasonal crops. Uh, the, the most important part then becomes is actually the vegetable production. It covers about seven and a half percent of uh, uh, the agricultural land, uh, a substantial part of the value of uh, 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 crops uh, in there. And uh, fruit has been uh, co covers a little bit less than that. Uh, than the uh, uh, areas of vegetable and fruit production is actually stagnated, declined, and so on. There's not been the kind of, although the demand is there, very strong, uh, there's not been the kind of uh, security, stability, and so on that allows for the uh, development of uh, the growth of that uh, uh, area, and plus all sorts of other things. Um, well, needless to say, I think it's so quite generally known, Iraq is barely self-sufficient in anything, in any of these produ uh, products other than uh, dates. Uh, even in, in dates, even that, that is debat debatable, even uh, sort of table dates now are imported from all lots of countries, uh, from several countries. Uh, it, it, it's the, the uh, uh, presentation, the pack packaging and so on, and the processing is so poor uh, in Iraq that, is that uh, foreign dates are inv in, 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 uh, coming into the market in a strong way. Um, uh, the same applies, if I, we talked about uh, 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 animal products, the same would apply uh, there, so there's there's uh, a certain amount of uh, stagnation, decline in some areas. There's a <coughs> growth in 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 uh, uh, in uh, dairy, uh, not matching demand at all. Uh, but there is a certain amount of growth in that. But uh, meat and uh, the stocks of animals have de depleted quite a lot, apart from. Uh, uh, from from uh, cattle, uh, so that's the uh, a, a uh, uh, general picture. By the way, in, sort of in terms of dates, uh, uh, virtually the only uh, product export uh, there is. And looking at FAO figures, it put Iraq way down the bot the bottom of the league uh, of prices obtained for the product, uh, and uh, the quality is, uh, has really dwindled. There's been a program recently to revive uh, date production with some minor, uh, in the data shows a little bit of uh, uh, success in this, but it's, it's uh, nowhere, <coughs> the data is inconsistent. When, when I look at it, the speed with which growth has been, uh, 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 the data tell us about uh, growth in, uh, seems incongruent, incongruent with the number of uh, uh, seed, seedlings, small, uh, 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 non-productive uh, or pre-production uh, uh, date palms and the numbers that a few years later are shown to be, uh, to, to have, uh, of productive palm, palms that are, are shown to have uh, 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 increased by. So there is incongruity there and I think that speaks a lot about the 
state of uh, the data uh, that we have even at this level. Now, um, that's a general picture. A striking observation uh, uh, can be made over the last 30 to 40 years. One after another, industrial crops have disappeared from uh, the fields, uh, or almost disappeared, let's say. Sugar, sugar cane, back in the, in, the 19, in the 1970s, it was growing uh, as part of an integrated project uh, with a processing factory and so on. Uh, back in the 1980s, this uh, was well, the production of sugarcane stopped. Uh, the factory was turned into processing uh, imported raw material. Um, sugar beet, again, in the 1980s, production uh, 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 stopped. It was growing earlier, production stopped. Uh, but then uh, rev it was revived in the 1990s under sanctions. So it was a way of uh, getting some sugar on the table uh, during the sanctions period. Uh, but uh, then died again with The, 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 a lot of things seem to die with the uh, American promised liberation. So uh, it's, um, yeah. Uh, cotton, again, uh, uh, declined uh, and revived, declined in, in the, in the uh, uh, 80s and revived in the 90s, disappeared after 2004. 2003, 2004, uh, the uh, uh, Ministry of Industry had its factories well, had its factories looted in 2003 uh, as an an act uh, of liberation again the uh, ministry had no no more call for uh, cotton was not buying it from the farmers the farmers stopped uh, two years uh, running and stopped stopped uh, producing cotton uh, tobacco uh, again declined in the late 1970s and never uh, revived. That's partly related to the, well, related to the situation in Kurdistan. Again, we can say the same, uh, similar story to the others, uh, sunflower declining, rising again in the 90s under sanctions and disappearing under uh, occupation uh, and uh, other crops, uh, linseed and so on. So all these industrial crops have uh, disappeared. Uh, they were sort of promising diversification, promising linkages uh, with the rest of, of, uh, uh, of the economy have uh, gone. Uh, obviously, this raises serious issues, not only for the general uh, economy uh, in Iraq, but it also raises serious issues for uh, the farming uh, communities and for the uh, uh, people, for the livelihoods of uh, people. It's become, everything has become so uh, much, uh, dependent on one product. It's much more precarious. It's uh, uh, added to the physical and political uh, risks. This is a, a very uh, serious, I mean, physical here environmental as well as other physical and other uh, ways it's it's very serious for for uh, farmers uh, this has led to uh, heavy dependence uh, on direct uh, state subsidies uh, so uh, yes we, we, we can see recently for example um, the the uh, great success story of uh, of, of, of farming that uh, recent increases in wheat output from a, from a little over 2 million uh, tons uh, a year in the early 2000s to uh, a reported, I must say, uh, over 5 million in 2014. And uh, promises of uh, self-sufficiency, and that's sort of talked about all the time in, in official uh, uh, sort of uh, discourse, uh, talking about food sufficiency still in the, in, in, in the midst of 
exceptional dependence on imports in every area. But that figure in 2014, based on uh, some increases over a period of time before, that was is, is uh, interesting to note. Five million tons, well, that is a, a hugely, uh, I mean, um, it, 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 it seemed highly unlikely. So when looking at it, uh, the, then you can see that actually there's, uh, there, are, there are reports of, um, well, first of all, it's based on, on, on uh, 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 a price, a guaranteed price of 600, about $600 uh, a ton, which is considerably higher uh, than uh, the uh, international price. Well, fair enough if it's if it's to do something for a short while, but obviously on a large scale it's unsustainable. Uh, but uh, the question here is to what extent this is actually production and not imported, recycled uh, uh, products. It's all all supposed to be based on uh, farms that are inspected uh, in general sense and recorded uh, the, the, the areas that are planted, uh, 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 samples of uh, output to ensure that there is a, a, a probity in this area. But uh, the uh, reports that have been uh, uh, seen, including discussions with uh, people from the trade ministry who are on the receiving end of the uh, uh, farms. This is probably highly exaggerated. The problem here, on top of the corruption and the, uh, and the uh, cost, is uh, that with the collapse in oil prices and the government's financial situation, the government has stopped paying farmers. So actually the farmers over the past couple of years have not been paid for produce that they've, uh, or many of the farmers have not been paid for produce that they have uh, handed over to uh, government silos. Uh, so uh, there's constant demonstrations now of farmers demanding uh, the the. Uh, the back payments and uh, what are the consequences in longer term for agriculture one can imagine in this uh, case. Um, now, uh, so <coughs> what we have there in, 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 in terms of agriculture at the moment is therefore um, a, a, uh, a, a dependence on um, uh, vegetable production for the market straight from the farm to the market there's no there's little by way of uh, cushioning little by way of, uh, of, of processing so that uh, uh, there'll be an evening out of uh, uh, prices offered of demand and uh, of meeting demand and so on there's little by way of that there's uh, it's a total dependence on uh, the ability of the farmer to go to uh, to to uh, reach the market and to get the best price uh, possible uh, in that uh, way. It's this is uh, being uh, uh, th this is being um, uh, of course there's increasing uh, uh, growth of. Uh, um, of, of commercial uh, uh, production of, of uh, uh, fruit and vegetable in that sense, so it edges out large numbers of people. Now, what I want to, I can, I can, uh, 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 what I haven't said is what we haven't, what we, what the statistics haven't told us. They've told us all these things. We can glean this out, but without they haven't told us. There's um, no mention anywhere of. Land, w w w land hold, distribution of land holdings, of uh, distribution of uh, ownership of machinery, the distribution of uh, uh, hold of ownership of uh, livestock, anything that is 
of, of, of uh, uh, capital in this way, there's no uh, mention in the uh, data. Uh, the last uh, agriculture, full agricultural center, census was in 2001. Even that one, the published records of that don't say anything about that. They give totals uh, and totals by area and so on, but they don't give distribution by size uh, and uh, so on. There's the, uh, uh, the only thing that I found was sort of where, where uh, may, one may have some hope of getting some information about uh, size and so on is, is perhaps in the use of, uh, uh, of, of plastic culture for, for agriculture and so on. Uh, but that's, that's, uh, that's about uh, uh, all. Uh, so we've had a, a, a previously uh, a, a, a interest in agrarian reform and land reform and so on, and there was a considerable amount of information about who is a farmer, who is a peasant in that sense, who is a, 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 an agricultural worker, and uh, 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 what kind of... Uh, 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 relations, tenure relations, and so on, exist within agriculture. Uh, even a little bit of information about ownership uh, of land as opposed to holding. Uh, there's all of that is, is has just been edited out, and there is no uh, well. I say edited out, ignored in that sense. It's sort of like a farmer is a farmer is a homogeneous. There's of course there's mention of. There is a little bit of mention in, in statistics of Ummal Zirain, very, very uh, small numbers of permanent uh, uh, agricultural workers rather than the temporary. But then that, that's, that's all. There is, uh, they're all it's homogeneous. And I think this is a, a, an issue that is reflected in the lack of social research as well. So it's not just the, the, the uh, statistics. We don't find there used to be a considerable amount of social research and of anthropological research at village level uh, in the 50s, early 60s. Uh, in the 70s, it became more politicized, sort of government-inspired and, of course, restricted, but still was there. You could still at least get uh, a government hack to talk about uh, 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 land. Some serious research as well uh, continued. It's not there anymore. Uh, there's a lot of discussion about production uh, and so on. So that's all. Thank you.